What did you get in physics? I got nine. You got nine? <laughs> yeah. How did you feel about that? I was really happy. It was the one science I wanted a nine in. I wanted it so bad. So I was happy. <laughs> well, topic wise, I think electricity. I just, I struggled with that. To begin with, it was motion. So, like, but then I did further maths. So that really helped me understand the graphs and all the SUVA and the kinematics. But I did find the six markers, the big paragraph questions, difficult. So, because I'm not as good as it in English, so that was a struggle. But. Okay, so when you first started in my class in year nine, what did you think? Well, we had a massive class. I thought you were fun. We did a lot of experiments, which I enjoyed. It was a loud class, it was a vibrant class. Was physics hard at first? Yes. So what was it? Uh, what did you find hard at first? I thought that physics was, was a lot of independent study. We taught each other a lot. I remember doing a terminal velocity film thing. Help me understand it. Yeah, I, I did enjoy it. From the year eight kind of maths to year nine physics maths, it's a big step. So that's what I found difficult, but I enjoyed it. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody who's just like physics and finding it hard? Revise maths alongside physics. I just looked straight at the camera. Right. Well, give it to, do it to the camera if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had a revision timetable and I had, whenever I was revising physics, I had maths alongside it because obviously physics is a lot of maths. And if you understand the maths, you understand the physics. So I made sure I understood what the equations actually meant and then you remember them. I think, do your past papers, I always say that, but it really helped me. Download the specification. Experiments help, because you're seeing it happen. Once we've learned all the content, and before, a couple of months before the exams, when you start going over stuff, consolidating stuff, that's when it all, because you learn all the content, and then you think, oh, that links to that, and it all links. The freedom, if that makes sense, so the experiments, I like those. It's not as much, well it is theory, but it's a lot more exploring it yourself, understanding it in more depth than just being told, it's that kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't really. Sometimes I um, do if I don't understand something, there's sometimes tutorials online, but they're all old, so. Why, why well, we've that? got a brand new GCSE spec, oh, I see. so. They're all for the old. Yeah, it's all for old spec. I feel like it's not the same as having a teacher, it's not. It, it just doesn't benefit me, but it might benefit someone else. How I got grade nine? Yeah. Caboodle. <laughs> so I looked at Caboodle, the online books. They um, they went in depth, actually. I And it would have notes on the side about how this links to the real world, and I thought that was really useful. Um, I think the Caboodle books were really useful. And I did cue cards. I had a huge bag of cue cards <laughs> that I did every night oh, after yeah. I revised. Yeah, because it is in more depth. If you compare it to the CPG books, it's not going to get you a level 9, just look at those, so that's why I like the caboodle. Am I not reading that? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start, I'll start.